I heard table for... action. What have we here? Whoa, whoa, Ali. Bring us up to speed, please. Wow, Brewer. This looks like real heroics from Chris. Indeed, as on the river alone, we've got a bet, three bet, in the face of this Petrangelo raise with a seven high straight. Brewer blocking the full houses with three, four. Pre-flop cut off, 7K open from Petrangelo. Both blinds came along, including Foxen at the time. Check, check, 6K C bet. Brewer peeling with the three. Check, check on the turn. And then here we are on the river with Brewer betting, getting raised, and then seizing what seems like an opportunity to put real pressure on Nikki P, who's Ultra. got his suspicions. Ultra sick. Oh, bravo, Chris. Great play Into there. Into the bin goes the winner there. And Chidwick Stack being the overall chip leader, he can just put so much pressure on. It makes our EV worse when they can just barrel us off. Brewer defends with a pretty one. Plops top pair, the immediate reward. Just given some of the draws that present themselves, firing here is very understandable. Occasionally, Stevie's drawing dead. Oh, now this is uh, a little weird, I suppose. I think in the form of the club, Stevie probably just settles on check back. Were the ace not a club? Might pursue value with his aces and queens with the king. Nice pick up for Brewer, obviously. Things happening here, courtesy of Queen Jack. He's in, Ollie. You surprised by the a7 suited knock from Chewy in front of him? Not exceedingly surprised, not closing the action. Extreme ICM pressure. Chewy's a little bit cozy, but uh, entering wouldn't have shocked me either. Just one of those. Check. Quite cuspy. Coon behind. Yeah, top pair for Brewer here on the King-Queen-Deuce board as action is checked over to Jason, who has alluded to the notion that he does have a stomach flu that he's battling with right now. Obviously, that makes the challenge even more. Understandable in a normal scenario. In these scenarios, everything just so precarious as we see he's in dynamite shape. Check calls to 25,000. And Coon's stomach woes as we see he's drawing dead, unfortunately. 310 behind. Shortest stack coming in. Checking back, and let's see. Clubs get there on the end. Maybe a saving grace for Jason, but still difficult to navigate. bank. Oh, let's it go. Bravo, sir. What do you guys think? Oh, oh, under no, half a person being eliminated. Is this like an East Was that the shadow? Mm. Yang? Was that Yang? Sixes for Daniel. Ace 10 suited for Brewer. Last time he three bet this exact position. He ran into Coons King King. Still even 48 minutes. It's been slow, though. Quick Google, by Not the way. Jonathan Duhamel. Duhamel. It happened right at the end of the level. So. Actually, I'm taking Your over. at 22. Over? Yeah. I think it's going to be in the final 10 minutes of the level. Does three bet once okay. more. Should we bet 100 bucks? <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> oh my wife, I went all in. Because he called, you know, at least okay. I won 100 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Calls. Did it feel like the decision was between <laughs> fold and call or potentially <laughs> call and raise? Unclear, big flop coming, though. Rebound. Oh, Rebound. and I thought that was middle sex. <laughs> <laughs> Alas, it's the five. And a board that does not hit the ace-10, though the jack of clubs is nice interaction and strong enough deems Brewer to barrel through 50,000.
would imagine we'll be seeing a turn, Ollie, with 300 in the middle. Negrado. Cool. Fours, sevens, 100. eights. Seems quite nice from Chris and for Daniel with sixes. Let's see, he's made Herculean reads before. But it seems awfully tough to continue with just 6-6. Six, six. Very nice from Brewer. Good feeling. You can feel uh, just a little bit of relief from him there. You know, really? as we see sixes, sevens here, Brewers in oh. against the Kenny Open. Get under your skin. I Nicole. try not to let such things get under my skin, but they do sometimes. And when the really dark thoughts come in, you know, the kind of, why don't you just shut the <laughs> sort of, you know, I try my best to breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, and just, you know, because if you play this game for a living, <laughs> bottom pair in the back door working for Kuhn, the middle pairs for Kenny and Brewer, you can't really let such things, but then then you got to be yourself, too. It's oh. annoying, the set and the flush draw working for Kuhn. Hello. This is a very interesting development here. And... Brewer decides to lead out, hoping somebody's got an ace or a king and can be a customer. Not quite that kit, but certainly one worthy of patronage in the form of the queen high club draw for Jason. Flicks in a quarter. Six is out of there. And the club not available on this river. Brewer goes for full pot. Well, he paid him with queen high for one third pot. Take They're a very different first. scenario, but this time, pair of fours. This is interesting, Ali. Ace Jack suited. Looks like he's got calling chips. You know, this is the last man that you really want to feel compelled to inflate one against. Look at Kenny just along for the ride. Price is right. Deuce five suited, unintrusive. He knows that's not the neighborhood that Brewer's going to be in. Of course, Haxton could be a little out of line. Is you that see middle the monotone set for Jack I seven five? My Haxton, word. Sun running in a real way. Top pair for Brewer, bottom pair for My Kenny. My God. They both check, but it, yeah. Thanks. Ike truly is sun running right now, Ollie. 45. Very apt term. And when the best player's son runs, and I'm throwing best around, Stevie and Kuhn sandwich him, they're all in the discussion. Everyone here is fantastic. But when a guy like Ike son runs, you know, they truly look unbeatable. Oh, people I mean, are going to get scorched. Six of clubs. It's a scary-ish card for Chris, but still navigations are highly dicey. And Ike, of course, is aware a lot of suited cards are in Chris's range. So perhaps there's a little bit less Jack X than usual and a little bit more flushes than usual. Flush for draws? Normal, just straight flushes okay. because of the pressure. Five. Trying to find the perfect size and just, you know, time banks flying out the window. 155. And for Chris, let's see, Ali. That's a fantastic. I mean, it. I don't feel good about this. This wow. is a really terrific understanding of tournaments. <laughs> <laughs> this, one, this one I feel confident is a good play, and I also thought I just had the best hand. <laughs> <laughs> 
I guess Bravo, Chris. Minutes left in the but you can just show me whatever, some random spade. Oh, no, okay. no harm in showing you this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had this damn autoimmune disease, and it's like, mm, yeah. destroys my body. I would have liked to done LASIK, but they won't let me. Really? Yeah. Why, because of the autoimmune yeah. disease? Mm -hmm. So what, they, it's like higher risk? Yeah. Mm. Limp raise from Kuhn, call from Brewer, and very, very bad news for Brewer as it stands now, Ali. You know, and every now and again, we limp the small, and then this raise, especially when uh, we yeah, have an ace, you, like Nick, a hand, comes from... Little miscommunication from as Chris snap checked. Excuse me, Ali. Yes. Bottom of range kit that just doesn't want to see a flop. That's exactly you know what I mean? right. But here, just an absolute disaster developing. Escape hatches are available for the time we'll being, of course. Going nowhere, of course. Makes the call. And for Kuhn, we're a little bit, you know, wary of what it is that Brewer will be continuing with as the limp caller preflop in the face of the raise and a texture such as this, check calling, and now suddenly no diamond in hand for Jason. He looks up at a queen of diamonds arriving on the turn. Chris calling the raise pre is certainly a, a fair amount of suited hands. A little bit of 3x, some trips, maybe some middly pockets. Class from Jason, 90 into 134, targeting exactly what we're looking at. Some other stuff with the King of Diamonds in it. I think it's easy to check a card like this or even sort of price your hand and go small, but seemingly Jason with overarching ideas about the spot. And for Brewer, nowhere to go but call. Huge river coming. Yeah, Big product, tournament implications here. A product, of course, of not just the holding, but Kuhn sizing as well, the 90. Oh, now. And a very dangerous card for Brewer to navigate as well. And highly doubtful that ace-queen is somehow present as played. Suppose I suppose Jason is, is weighing whether to go hyperpolar and just do it, which he is. Well, this is a lame spot. Start the clock. Would be the first he's made today. 367? Uh, just in case if, like, you lose a hand, then you give yourself a chance to, like, uh, trip up fold. the next one. Oh, like great fold, hand, Brewer. Bravo. He, uh, like yeah. He loses this one, he's down and he got there. Didn't even burn the bank. Didn't even burn the time banks unless he doesn't have any.